Cable and I'm going to Ryman Gardens for our day of service and hopefully we'll be planting or like helping in the butterfly garden anything really to help. The day of service is something that we do every year and each kid gets to pick like where they want to volunteer at and then we go out and serve our local community for a day. I am super excited for this project because I absolutely love being outdoors. I love planting flowers and butterflies and I just love nature in general. I think I'm hoping for my takeaway to be just to have a long lasting effect on Ryman's and kind of just to bring joy to anybody who goes and visits there over the summer and spring. The two tasks that we have in mind today are a mulching project, and that mulching project is in our North Mixed Quarter, um, and so it's just laying a you know a layer of mulch, roughly three to four inches thick, um, through this mixed border space. And the mulch keeps all the moisture in, and you know it kills off all the weeds. So. Hopefully when summer comes, the plants won't be dead because there'll be water in the ground and everybody will get to enjoy the beautiful plants. Um, I mean, we always do tool training with whatever tools we're using. So in the case of the mulching, we're actually using five gallon buckets. That's a really good easy way to mulch. Um, and so we'll just do some demonstration for the first couple of rounds and showing all of them how to load the bucket. The work done today, so we have volunteer um, engagement levels in our strategic plan. So every year a volunteer coordinator, she is working towards whether that's, um, you know, fulfillment rates in um, the opportunities that we have or, um, you know, reaching new service groups or, so we're always tracking data um, with those and trying to improve or reach more people, expand, um, you know, our volunteer service um, opportunities. So that's one way that it helps is just by forming those relationships to increase our effectiveness. Um, and then kind of like on a physical side of like how we're, um, the work that they're doing improves this. So we also have other, you know, strategic goals related in horticulture to, um, you know, improving garden spaces or planting a number of plants, um, increasing the number of uh, what we call sessions. So we, we map and track every single plant or group of plants that we put in the ground. And so we also have goals of improving those every single year. So um, all of those things tie right back into the operations and the, the bigger picture goals that we have every year. And then the second task we have is to be planting some bulbs. So now is not typically the bulb planting time, but we just took some bulbs out that we had forced for containers. And so we, because they're perennial bulbs, we can reuse them. So we took them straight from the containers and we're just gonna plant them in the ground with their green tops up. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get a 60% success rate next year when they come back. Hi. Oh, we're replanting bulbs. So they've already sprouted once. So we're replanting these beautiful flowers so that way other people can enjoy them. Uh, and then with the bulb planting, um, we have um, a digging tool. And the digging tool actually has a, a gradation on it by inches, and so we explain to them how deep to plant and then where to put the bulb, um, you know, like top side up, which now that they're blooming should be fairly obvious that they have foliage as opposed to in the fall when we plant them and they don't, um, and then cover them up. And, and in the case of the bulbs, we have more spaces throughout the gardens that we can go to, you know, depending on how much time and how much progress we're making, like as we, as we move through. Then the bulb planting, um, you know, we have oh, at least 12,500 bulbs that came out of the force pots. Um, right now I have loaded up probably about half of that um, to put into the garden beds. I think seeing all the nature just, it makes me feel really happy. Like, this is really fulfilling for me. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, that, that 
pride of work and what they've done. You know, especially in bulbs in the fall when we do them, because then you don't, right? Like you're just planting this like little seed essentially. And so when it comes up in the spring, you can be like, hey, I did that, you know? And so it's kind of fun to see the fruits of your labor months later. Um, I think when I come over the summer, butterfly garden is always my go-to because we don't have enough butterflies in Iowa. But I think just like seeing all the different like flowers and everything in nature. Um, so and it's just all right here for you to enjoy and all the like really cool sculptures to look at. So. I kind of just really enjoy Ryman Gardens as a whole. Absolutely, we have volunteer opportunities almost every single day of the year. I don't know, our volunteer coordinator is giving me a heads up um, and a thumbs up down there. So as far as like gardening opportunities to um, help, there are weekly ones, um, probably not every single day, um, but definitely weekly opportunities throughout the year. Um, some weeks we do have daily opportunities depending on what kind of intense projects we have going on, especially in the spring and especially in the fall. So. There are absolutely um, ways for them to come back and be involved after the day of service. And it's not like an online thing, or they come here and just say, hey, I want to help? Um, either way. So they can go online, go on to our website, um, and I think, is there a form, Kim, that they can fill out? Um, or they can get Kim's email address and just email her or call her. Um, they could also just show up, um, and if it's during Kim's business hours when she's here, you know, she's available to meet with new people. Um, so absolutely. All of the above. At Ryman Gardens we do a couple of volunteer appreciation events every single year in which we invite all volunteers that have come to participate. So um, we have a volunteer um, evening event, you know, in the fall time. Um, and then other volunteers, like we have a member volunteer picnic, I think we're still doing. So there are multiple things throughout the years, like event-wise for all volunteers, but just like in the moment, there's, you know, verbal recognition and acknowledgement for vegetable that maybe they said growing here. In our case, because we have the butterfly wing, you know, maybe it's an inspiration to connect with insects or pollinators, native or non-native. Um, but really, as long as we can play one part in that, um, their own personal growth and development and connection to the natural world, I think we've done our job. All right, good. Thank you. All right, hey, you bet. Ha <laughs> ha.